havoc across multiple states. Our meteorologist Ginger Z is here with the latest on that. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning, Bianca. Good morning, everyone. I want you to go ahead and focus in on the title here. It's a tropical concern. It is not yet a depression. It's not yet a storm. And it's kind of just messy and lopsided. So we can't call it anything except for a whole lot of thunderstorms. Now, it does have the fuel necessary to become a tropical storm. So the next 24 hours are going to be very pertinent for its development. Uh, 82 in most of the bath water that is the Gulf of Mexico, about 1 to 2 degrees above what is normal. So if this thing gets going, it's got plenty of warm water to feed on. Where will it go is the next question. Most of the models here on the spaghetti plot take it over to Florida. A few just off into Brownsville. But either way, I can promise you no matter what it gets named, what, no matter what type of storm it becomes, it's going to bring a lot of rain, even for places like Miami. So I'll have more on this and, of course, a look at the national weather coming up. But for now, back to Ben and Bianca. All right. Love your spaghetti plot, Ginger. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and let's turn now to Ron Claiborne with other stories developing. Check back with Ginger Z on the weather. Good morning, Ginger. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I don't know about Ben. You're not used to this heat. It no. has just been so <laughs> sweaty. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, it is coming to an end, kind of. A lot less humid, at least. Look at the temperatures the next couple of days in the northeast. Down into the 80s we go. So anyway, from 10 to even 20 degrees cooler. So you will feel a little bit of relief here on this Saturday. Not so much if you're back to the west. Denver yesterday had a record of 102 degrees. Today they could do it again at 103. So it's not just the heat that is drying out all the fuels on the ground, but the fire weather, not so great. 40 mile per hour gusts. So that's not going to help the firefighters out as those fires continue to grow. That's a look at the big picture. Let's get a check now a little closer to home. Thanks, Ginger. Good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Amy Freese here. Ron mentioned we had those thunderstorms in the Northeast, some of them grounding planes, but we also got some really great photos. So let's look at the first one. Bianca, you forwarded this to me, too. This thing was all over the Internet, and you'll see at the bottom who took it. Yeah, I didn't yeah. take that. Uh, no, <laughs> lightning striking the Empire State Building. So it's always good to see one of those, especially when no one gets hurt. They've mm -hmm. got those special things on the top there to keep everybody safe. Ypsilanti, Michigan. We're getting close. There you go. Canada, uh, with a <laughs> double <laughs> rainbow there. <laughs> all right, let's head back over to you guys. Thanks, Ginger. Well, you probably know that one of the... Right. Back to the weather. <laughs> I do love all this. Who doesn't, right? Let's then talk about the weather because we have to talk about one part of the nation that hasn't seen a whole lot of summer. You know, a lot of us have been dealing with the heat wave for the last couple of days. The center of the nation's been very hot. Not so much when you look up in the Pacific Northwest behind a cold front. Same deal today. A few strong thunderstorms in far northwestern uh, Montana and then a stationary front that's going to come along right under all that heat in the west. How much heat? Well, we're really breaking it here. Providence at 82. Atlanta is going to be 92 today. Dallas, one of its hottest temperatures at 98 for the season so far. But look at Denver again. 103, the forecasted hot. Really steamy. That is the big picture. Let's then get a check a little closer to home. This weather report has been brought to you by Almighty Pax. Bianca and Ben. All right, Ginger, well, we should tell everyone at home why we're wearing yes. these armbands yes. right now. They are in support and in solidarity, solidarity of our friend and family member, GMA anchor Robin Roberts, who is battling MDS. She's going to win that battle. But this is obviously what she's wearing to cover her pick line as she receives treatment. Many people across the country and around the world are also doing that as well, and they have pick lines to cover up. So this is in support of our friend Robin. We love you, Robin. And coming up on Good Morning America, amazing video. For a while from the Oscar That's red right. carpet. That's right. That's right. Sure. Yeah. So it's good to see you here. Great to see you. Great, to be here. Great to see you guys. All right. So a little pop news action. Uh, she was there when Harry. Yeah. 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 Hey, I still picture him with Elaine Irwin. She's so beautiful. Uh, no. So it's hard to see them apart. But well. good luck to Megan John. <laughs> okay. So if Megan John do try the knots, they might be interested in this. The We're going for the 16th chapel. Yeah. Is it the 16th yeah. chapel? I want to talk directly to Dave. That was over the line. That was <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ow. babes. Poor guy. No, no, let's see. He, I think he got out of left high school very, very early yes, so that he could true. pursue making millions and millions and millions of dollars. The one person more famous than Ben in Canada. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Based on Twitter followers, I would say you're absolutely right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, speaking of school and education, okay, you've all heard of kicking it old school, but how about kicking it preschool? This is a kindergarten.